Hurricane Sally moving away, still dumping some heavy rainfall, but luckily not in the areas that it's received near historic amounts of rainfall. Now shifting into Alabama and Georgia, still some bands moving across parts of Florida, but moving on out and improving conditions along the coastline and obviously improving conditions here. The track of the storm will take it across Georgia into South Carolina, and eventually what is left over of it will be moving into the Atlantic, not looking at it coming back or anything like that, but will be moving into the Atlantic by this weekend. This is what's happening on water vapor. On the back side of it, we actually have some drier air and we're starting to clear out, but also notice the upper pattern. We're starting to pick up this more southwesterly flow. That is thanks to an upper trough, which is deepening across Texas, and that upper trough is what is starting to kind of pick up that forward speed of Sally and move it on out just as fast as possible. That upper trough is actually going to also help to bring in some less humid air. We'll get into a taste of that on late Thursday, Friday, but more so as a deeper upper trough. In other words, more of an air mass coming out of the northern states and Canada will help to push a far drier air mass in place for the weekend and kind of suppress all of that tropical moisture well offshore. So good feel air is on the way. Then we have to focus on the Western Gulf because there is a surge of tropical moisture that is going to be trying to make it back up in our direction because we're still going to have kind of a flow coming out of the Gulf. And what may happen is that flow out of the Gulf is going to come on top of the drier air down at the surface. So I don't think we're going to completely get rid of the clouds or maybe even the rainfall as we get into this weekend. And that focus is on this spin right here, kind of a broad system but a definite circulation is trying to get better form. And the Hurricane Hunters, or Hurricane Center, I should say, is now focusing on this with a high percent chance of developing in the next three to five days. It's under a 50% chance for the next two days. So by the end of the week and weekend, we may see something try and form. What that something is, is still very much a question mark. But right now, it is being analyzed as Invest 90L, which means computer models are now being run on it. And right Right now, models are kind of bringing that little, again, is it a tropical storm? Is it an or organized system or is it just a lot of rainfall? Still very much a question mark. But notice it kind of moves it up toward the north central Gulf Coast and then gets pushed away. Why? We've got that dry air in place. And as long as that holds, that should suppress all of that moisture down off the coast. Or if nothing else, maybe some coastal showers. Still very much an inconsistent, or I should say, uh, lack of agreement in the computer models. And there has been no consistency in the models. They were not saying anything forming yesterday. And now both the Euro and the GFS have kind of a system trying to form. But notice at the same time frame this weekend, Sunday, at noon, the GFS has a system just off the Louisiana coast. The Euro has something trying to develop, but off the coast of Mexico. A lot of questions. Nothing is written in stone by this point. It is just something we will be watching. Again, it's still September, and this is the busiest month of hurricane season.